Hello student and uh, welcome to another chemistry demonstration. Uh, today I want to do something very simple. We want to investigate the effect of hard water on the soap. And uh, what is hard water? That is one question we will answer as maybe we proceed. I do have some pieces of bar soap just the ordinary soap. I do have some distilled water. And what I'm going to do, I have some salt here. Like this is uh, magnesium nitrate. And I have, uh, this is uh, calcium chloride. And I still have magnesium uh, bicarbonate or other magnesium hydrogen carbonate. And where do I start? I'm going to start by having a sample of distilled water in each of the boiling tube. I'll have a sample of distilled water. Distilled water. So I'll have four samples. I'll have four samples of the distilled water. In the first sample, I will just place the, the, the soap, the bar soap, without adding anything. In the second one, I will have a sample of magnesium nitrate, just a little. I will just dissolve a little of magnesium nitrate. Then I place the bar soap. In the next, I will place a sample of, I can start with this one, a sample of calcium chloride. That's a sample of, so this one contains calcium chloride, then I'll add the soap. The very last one, I will add a little sample of magnesium, magnesium, uh, it's magnesium hydrogen carbonate. Then I, of course I put the sample. Then I'll take and shake each. So the first one. That's the first one. Then I take the second one and shake. So far, let's compare the two. This one was without any salt. This one, I've added magnesium ions in it. The other one, I will shake, then observe. Finally, the last one. You can observe what is happening. So in short, what is happening here? This one was water without magnesium or calcium ions. And this one had magnesium ions. This one had calcium ion. And of course the fourth one had, this one had magnesium ions. So what exactly can we observe? If we compare these three, I hope you can see very well. If I can even shake them again, I can do shaking once again and then I observe. This one was without the, uh, the, the, the calcium or magnesium. Just observe what has happened. The lather has formed. It has formed a lather very easily with soap.
Look at that one. It is not forming rather easily with the soap. Even the one with the calcium, even the one with the calcium, however much I shake, it's not forming rather. Otherwise, what has happened? The water that had calcium and magnesium ions, we say it's hard water. Because hard water, it's basically the water that contain magnesium or dissolved magnesium or calcium ions. And these ions will uh, make it hard for this water to form lather with soap. Because of course it reacts, the, so, uh, the sodium stearate reacts with the, 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 the soap, but um, the calcium and magnesium ion to form an insoluble uh, substance we call it the scum. So in, in short, the hard water, the presence of calcium and magnesium ions makes water hard and it's therefore not easy to form lather with soap. The water that had magnesium ions in form of their nitrates and calcium ions in form of their chlorides, we say it has permanent water hardness. The one that had magnesium hydrogen carbonate, uh, that one we say it has a temporary water hardness. Basically, if I boil the water uh, that had the, the magnesium hydrogen carbonate, it will form lather easily with the soap. But the one with the calcium or magnesium cannot lather easily with the soap. So hard water do not lather easily with the soap. And I'm not talking about soapless detergents. I'm talking about soapy detergent. Thank you so much for watching. Keep coming back for more of Dr. Sa Mi a demonstration. So tell a friend to tell a friend. Keep coming back. All the best.